Okay, good, happy Monday morning. Woohoo, right? Well, I've got some coffee and the Word of God, so woohoo! Is that better? <laughs> I'm trying. So, August 22nd, what is a sinner to do? I will pardon all their iniquities. Jeremiah 33, 8. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Bible declares all unrighteousness is sin in 1 John 5, 17. All is an important word. It encompasses not only all people, but all actions, words, unspoken thoughts, and attitudes. All of it. Even when directed at others, these things are just as harmful to us. <clears throat> Anger toward others never relieves our hearts. Jealousy causes some to outwardly rage while others seethe inwardly. Gossip poisons our tongues and preys on our minds. Sin violates the very love of God and breaks the law of God set forth to protect us from these hurtful, hateful, and harmful dispositions. <clears throat> are those rules aren't just because he's the bossy boss they're because we don't have no business and we don't have sense enough to figure that out till it's too late so the rules are in place to protect us their boundaries to keep us from falling off a cliff um now where was i so i always got to put my two cents in um dispositions. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God in Romans 3.23. We can pretend that we are not unrighteous, but in our hearts we know we are. Humanity's chief trouble is sin. God's chief truth is the wonderful gift of his salvation, and Jesus Christ is the only remedy for sin. The only way, the only way, the only way. Thank you, Jesus. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All that unrighteousness that is sin, as the first line said, um, according to 1 John 5, 17. He cleanses it all away. Sin's masterpiece of hopelessness is overshadowed by God's masterpiece of forgiveness and mercy. Have you confessed your sins? It said you, not me. <laughs> Just kidding. I have and can't oh, catch myself in the moment a lot of times and just like, really? Can't believe I did that again. But God, but God, but God. His mercies are new every morning. Um, His Holy Spirit nudges us on in the right direction, guides us. Um, we have no excuses. We, it's as simple as that. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. He provided life, our very existence. He provides every opportunity. He provides a way out of every downfall, every temptation. Um, he provides a way to cleanse us from all iniquity, all unrighteousness. We serve the God of the impossible. If you don't serve him, what are you doing? Happy Monday.